if you guys have if you guys have your homework, make sure to get your lesson check and the lesson roundup out. Let's start off with your lesson check. Can you explain it? Once so we have three bullet points. The best way to do this is just to make sure we answer each one using a sentence. So the first one is identify forces used to move the sled as either a push or a pull. Pull. Oh. They pull it, exactly. So the correct answer is pull. So I would write force that moves the sled is the dogs pulling the sled. Now we need to describe how the strength and the direction of the sled can change. How can the strength and the direction of the forces change? We'll do a little fix. The force that moves the sled is the dogs pulling on the sled. Okay, how can we change the direction or the strength of the forces on the sled? Thomas. We change the direction of the sled uh -huh. by acting another force. Yeah, applying another force. So who's applying the force to the sled? The owner of the sled. Yeah, so what can the owner do to change the direction? They can uh, push from the behind. They can change it by pushing it from behind. Very good. What else could they do? What could the musher do? Let's have Robert. The dog will pull uh, another direction. Very good. So we could tell the dogs to pull in another direction. That the musher gives them commands. The musher can tell the dogs to change direction. If the dogs change direction, John, what would change direction if the dogs change direction? The sled change direction if the dog change direction. And if we wanted, so describe how the strength, if we wanted the strength to increase, how would we cause the strength to increase of the force? We, the dogs would have to do what? To increase strength of the force, the dogs. Very hard. Have to, yeah, okay. Hard force. Very hard. Very hard or harder. Okay. Guys, that's how we increase the strength and the direction. So the dogs would have to change the direction. We'd also have to tell them, go faster, go faster. And that would change the strength. We have one more left. Explain how the direction and the speed of the sled are affected by forces. I know why. Okay, can you tell us why? Um, because I think the sled needs to be light. Okay. Yeah. So what force is that? What force is on the sled that makes it heavy? Friction. Friction and what's the, what's the other one? Do you remember gravity? Gravity. Yeah. So guys, gravity is what makes things heavy. Okay. So the heavier the sled, what happened? The heavier the sled, the harder it is to pull. Number two, what is the correct, can someone fill in the blank and read the sentence? Tuyan, can you read the sentence and fill in the blank? Um, from acting an extra talk to the dog sled, Tim will train to our um, skip and direction. Do you guys think it's speed and direction? Did anyone get us anything else? How about uh, Ben? What do you think? Is it going to be speed and direction? Is it just speed or just direction? The speed. Okay, guys, it's just going to be the speed. Okay. Remember, to change direction, the dogs would have to change direction. But if we add an extra dog, we will go faster. Okay, let's continue. Number three, sort these action as pushes or pulls. How about kicking a ball? Is that a push or a pull? Pull. 
push. It is a push because it's going away from you. How about picking a book up from your desk? It is a pull because it's becoming closer to you. Pick up a book from your desk is a pull. How about reel in a flying kite? It is a pull. Reel in a flying kite. And how about putting a box on a high shelf? It is a push. Okay. So Daisy is blowing harder into a horn to change in strength or direction. Uh, change in strength. Yeah. What word let you know it was a change in strength? Blow. It's not blow. Anyone else have a guess? Is it blow harder into a or horn? Think about strength. Yeah. Harder. Very good. Harder. Harder, guys, is the main word that tells you that it's strength. Harder. And then let me go over. I'm going to do the last two for you guys. Go around a curve on a skateboard. That's going to be um, a change in direction. Go around a curve on a skateboard. And the last one, use brakes. So brakes is going to be your strength. Use brakes to stop a bicycle. Remember, when you stop your bicycle, it doesn't change direction, but it does change the strength. Number five, what's the answer? Ben 10, when a quarterback throws a long pass, his hand blank the football with a blank force. Do you have an idea, Ben 10? Is a push or pull, when you, so we're thinking of something that goes away from us. Is that a push or a pull? It's a push. It's a push. So I'm going to put pushes. And do you guys think a quarterback, this is a guy that plays football, so this is not a very good reference, but do you guys think he throws it with a weak force or a strong force? Bunny or a medium force? Strong, weak, or medium? If you're going to throw something as far as you can. Um, I think strong force. Very good. Number six, a defender's hand knocks the ball aside away from him. He uses a blank. Is it a push, pull, stays in path, or change direction? Do you guys think this is a push or a pull? If you're going to knock a ball away from someone. So I would, I would accept the answer push or pull. So I'm going to just put push or pull. You can use either one. The change direction is the correct answer for the second. Okay, guys. We're not going to have enough time for your lesson roundup. So I'm just going to go really quickly over each one. Label each image with either a push or pull and then strong or weak. How about a cart? Are this we one we need to push. Push. So with push. Because, because weak. there's no things in there. Okay, okay, okay. So this is a push. Good job. Push. Are we going to use a strong or weak? Strong or weak? A weak. Very good. We don't need an explanation. Uh, how about our second one? Push or pull? Push. 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 And, yeah. Okay. Very good. And strong or weak? Strong. 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 Very good. And how about the third one? Strong. Weak. Strong. Is this a push pull. or a pull? Pull. 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 Is this strong pull. or weak? I I would argue, I would argue, it might just be a weak force. You don't want to pull on your dog with a strong force. You don't want to pull on your. But if you're talking about the dog, if you're talking about the dog, the dog might be pulling with a strong force. So I would say strong or weak is okay here. But you guys probably answered strong, which is okay. Very good. The fourth one. How about a push or a pull? Pull. Pull. Oh. And is it strong or weak? Strong. Weak. Strong. This is strong. It's a big pumpkin. It's a big pumpkin. Okay, oh. picture. Strong. Uh, push or pull? Pull. Pull. Okay. pull. Yeah, and this is going to be a weak. This is a, a weak pull. And how about the last picture? 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because button is so light. Okay, push and weak. Very good. Okay. Good job, everyone. You guys seem to understand that. Yeah, you guys seem to understand that section. And then you said to write two accent, uh, sentences explaining, which Alex has already done. And how will a force change an object that is not moving? How can a force change the direction of um, a moving object? Um, so how will a force uh, change an object that is not moving? It will cause it to speed up. It will cause it to speed up. Um, so the first one. So guys, usually when an object is not moving, if you add a force, it speeds up. If this is not moving, if I add a force, it usually speeds up. But if an object is moving, I usually, a force will change its direction. Think about when a football is being kicked across the so a soccer field or football field. You can kick it to change its direction. Okay, so we're gonna go over simple machines. This is gonna be more of a discussion um, I don't think we're going to have enough time for the quiz, but I'll give you guys a code so you guys can take the quiz at home. What we were going to learn today, what is a simple machine? What do ramps, pulleys, levers have in common? How can distance affect the force needed? Is there usually only one force that acts on an object? And what type of simple machine is a seesaw? Let's first talk about a question, how would you get this heavy object up the staircase? So we are down on the ground and we wanna get it up here on the top of the staircase. What is something we could do? Ray, what are we gonna to have to do? We need to go on a flat surface, not a bumpy surface. Yeah, are, are the stairs, can we make our, will our cart go up the stairs? No. No. Thank you, Ray. So our cart won't go up the stairs. So how are we going to get the box up the staircase? Cherry, what do you think? Do you have any ideas of how we could get the box up the staircase? I can't think. Okay. Make sure everyone's thinking about the question. Think about how you would solve this problem. Let's have, how about Rosie? How can we get this box up the staircase? What do you, how do you think we can get this box up a, the staircase? I use ramp. A what? We can make a, I say we can I, make a ramp. We can yeah. make a ramp. We can make a ramp. We can build a ramp. That's not a very good ramp. Let me change the color. Yeah, so you can build a ramp up the staircase. Oh, let's learn about ramps. We have a little video we can watch. Let me share it with sound. We just came back from a big book sale at the library and we have two big boxes full of new books for our reading room. And I can't wait to get started on my reading. But first, Squeaks and I have a lot of stuff to carry. The problem is these boxes are too heavy for me or Squeaks to lift because books are heavy. And if we can't lift them, we can't carry them up the steps to get inside. So what can we do? Well, we could ask someone to help, but these boxes are so heavy, we probably won't be able to lift them even if we work together. Or Squeaks and I could carry just a few things at a time. That might work, but it would take many trips up and down the stairs, which would take a lot of time. So I know we can use some kind of a machine to help make our job easier. And I've got the perfect one in mind, a ramp. A ramp is just something that's long and flat with one end that's higher than the other end. It looks a lot like a slide on a playground. Some ramps are really steep and some are pretty flat. When we talk about how steep a ramp is, we call that the slope. So this ramp has a steep slope and this ramp has a slope that's less steep. You're right, Squeaks. A ramp doesn't look much like other machines we might have, like washing machines or lawn mowers. But scientists say that a machine is really just anything that helps us do work. And since a ramp helps us do work, that makes it a machine. And these kinds of machines that don't have many moving parts or none at all, like a ramp, 
are often called simple machines. Ramps make it easier to move things from a high place to a low place or the other way around. All we have to do is push or pull something on the ramp, either up or down, and our work is done. So let's see how a ramp can make the work of moving these books into our house a lot easier. We already said that the boxes of books were too heavy for me to carry up the steps. So Squeaks and I will put a ramp over the steps. The slope of this ramp is a little steep, but it reaches all the way from the bottom of the steps to the top. So if we put a box on the ramp and push, Wow, he did it! Nice job, Squeaks. Squeaks had to push really hard, but he got the box to the top of the steps. All right, one box down and one box to go. What changes do you think we could make to our ramp to make Squeaks' job a little bit easier? Okay, how can we change this ramp to make it a little bit easier for Squeaks to make it up with the book? Nom, guys, I want you guys to think uh, about it. I want everyone to think about it. How would you guys change this ramp to make it easier for Squeaks to make it up. He barely made uh, it up the ramp with the first one. Nam, what do you think? I think I will make it less steep. Okay. Skart has the answer. How can we change our ramp? I have the answer. Okay, Taylor, what do you think the answer is? I think we can make it uh, move our smooth so it's an easier to go up. It can move the uh, box will can go without the uh, pupil uh, pushing. Yeah, making it smoother would help. Making it smoother would help if we could put wheels under the box so so it's a lot smoother to go up the ramp. That would definitely help. You'll see a lot of people that use ramps will also use wheels to make the job easier. Very good job, Taylor. Scart got it. Or yeah, Scart got it. You want to make it less steep. So let's watch them make it less steep. This makes this job a little bit easier. Should we make the slope of the ramp steeper or should we make it less steep? Let's try using a different ramp, one that's longer. This way we can put the low end of the ramp farther away from the high end. Can you tell the difference? This ramp has less of a slope than the first one we used. Well, so one thing I want to point out, guys, slope is going to be very important. You're going to learn about this in math. Um, and what shape is this ramp making? So think about the ramp with the ground and the staircase. What shape does that look like? What shape does that look like? Banana, what do you think? What shape does this look like? When you look at the, the, the ramp, the ground, and the staircase. Triangle. It is a triangle. And if we make one of the sides longer, it's actually easier to make it up. Think about if we had a slope that looked like this. Imagine we had a triangle, a ramp that looked like this. It'd be very hard. It'd be very hard to make it up this slope because it's so steep. Imagine this slope. It'd be even harder to make it up. Okay. So you want your slope to be nice and long, as long as you can make it. The longer it is, the easier it is to make it up the staircase. Let's watch the video. Less of a slope than the first one we used. Well, let's see if it helps. Ready, Squeaks? One, two, three, push! Yay! Yes, right up the ramp and into the house. Squeaks had to push the box a little farther to get the box up the ramp, but he didn't have to push nearly as hard. When you think about it, using a ramp is kind of like walking up a big steep hill. It's harder to walk up a big hill if you walk straight up, but if you take a longer path that's less steep, you'll have to walk a longer distance, but it won't be nearly as hard. In the same way, it's harder to push something up a ramp with a steep slope than one that's not as steep. Ramps are all around you. They help us to move things into and out of trucks, move cars on and off of highways, and they let shopping carts, wheelchairs, or robotic rats get on and off sidewalks. And ramps are only one kind of simple machine. We'll explore other kinds of machines soon, but right now I'm ready to get started on one of my new books. Thanks for joining us on SciShow Kids. Um, yes, yeah, simple machines. I'll just read this last thing for you guys. So a ramp is a simple machine. They change the strength or the direction of a force. A seesaw changes the direction of a force. When one person moves up or moves down, the other person moves up. A pulley also changes the direction of a force. 
you can pull down on a rope to raise a flag up at school. But we'll continue to this. We'll, we'll learn more about simple machines next class, okay? Um, but this is a pulley. These are pulleys. You guys know what ramps look like. And then, of course, a seesaw is something you guys have always played with on the playground, okay? But that is it for today. Your homework is still going to be the quiz. The only thing you needed to know from this class that will be on your quiz is ramps, is ramps. So if you do not, before you take the quiz, before you take the quiz, I would recommend watching the ramps video again. Make sure you know how to explain ramps, okay?